So it looks like China will use control of their rare earth minerals for electric vehicle batteries to squeeze the US and the world. China is mulling a new export ban on rare earth magnets as the United States plans to push sweeping new sets of rules, calling for over half of the passenger cars to be sold in the US to be electric by 2032. These are two countries that are on a collision course, and as the United States works to reduce its reliance on China, efforts like these actually dig the West into a deeper dependence. And some lawmakers say, yes, this is a huge story. China is planning an export ban on rare earth magnets on the grounds of national security, according to recent reports. These magnets are found in electric vehicles, wind turbine motors, and even military planes. The United States and other Western countries are pushing toward what governments call decarbonization, while China looks to corner the growing electric vehicle market because it currently dominates in this sector of rare earth magnets and rare earth minerals. If this ban comes into action, it will put a dent in the goals of the United States and Europe, which don't manufacture or mine these minerals on their own. There is so much more, but first I want to remind you to subscribe and click that little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. We give you more than car reviews and first looks of new vehicles. We give you car smarts because knowledge is power. The U.S. is vulnerable to a China ban on rare earth minerals as the United States imports 78% of their rare earths from China. The rare earth mineral demand forecast by UBS is to increase by 655% in a 100% EV world. With the US-China trade war deteriorating, it's, it's becoming increasingly likely that China may ban exports of rare earths to the US. This would lead to a scramble by the US and other countries to source non-Chinese rare earth minerals. I recently posted an episode called, How Did China Come to Dominate the World in Electric Cars? Most people have not realized that the extent of what has happened is all because China has become a world leader in making and buying electric vehicles. All this happened in just the past two years, and the number of EVs sold annually in China grew from 1.3 million to a whopping 6.8 million vehicles, making 2022 the eighth consecutive year in which China was the world's largest market for EVs. The Chinese government took steps to invest in related technologies as early as 2001 that year, and EV technology was introduced as a priority science research project in China's five-year plan, the country's highest level economic blueprint. Over 70% of the critical minerals like cobalt, nickel sulfate, lithium hydroxide, and graphite are controlled by China. They have the ultimate control on this sector, which China has clearly pursued for years, while before other companies even figured this out was something important, it was too late. Chinese-made EV batteries are not only available at a discount, but also are available in much higher quantities because the manufacturing capacity has been built in China. However, this makes other car companies beholden to China as well, who controls the bulk of the supply chain for batteries. Rare earths are used in the drives of computers, mobile phones, MP3 players, cameras, you name it. They're also used in hybrid electric motors, luxury electric motors, wind turbines, aerospace, military applications, maglev trains, and other consumer products like televisions, washing machines, vacuum cleaners, and like you get it. Certainly, the two key rare earth minerals used for permanent magnets in EV motors are neodymium or PR, which is presodymium, which I believe I'm saying correctly. Even despite the trade war threatening supply, there are two key magnet rare earths will see surging demand from the EV boom. And in fact, in 100% EV world demand for the magnet rare earths is forecasted by UBS to increase by 655%. As I have said before in the past, China will use their control of rare earth minerals to squeeze the U.S. and the world. China has a history of manipulation of rare earth markets due to their dominant role in the supply chain. The USA currently imports 100% of their minerals, mainly from Canada and from Brazil, from a Chinese company. Who would have thought? If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you have any questions or comments, I'm sure you will. I'll be happy to answer them. You can support me by buying me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description, plus all the links for our website, social media, my book, and the podcast. I'm Lauren Fix. Thank you so much for watching.